Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. It's May here with Crafting on a Budget and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing for your creative studio. They contacted me and they wanted me to share one of their kits and do a collaboration with them. So I'm going to open this surprise box. As you can see, I'm super excited about this. They reached out to me, they loved my content, and they wanted to see if I was interested in doing a collaboration with them. They do have monthly subscription box. I will link all the details about this amazing company in the description box below. So let's see what's in this wonderful little kit. All right, I'm super excited, guys. I have not done a collaboration in such a long time and it was such a great pleasure to have someone oh my god look at that I love the stamped tissue paper here and their card is oh look at that you can even use this it's paint brushes and it's thank you so much for your purchase I hope you would enjoy this collection well I didn't purchase it but this is, I'm assuming, what you get whenever you purchase from them. They have a beautiful sticker, but I love the stamped tissue wrapping paper here. And I don't want to tear it up because this can be used in your projects. I'm super, super excited about this. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at the packaging. Just off, just by looking at this, I'm excited about it because I love the packaging. It is so candy to my eyes. It's absolutely beautiful. So let's see what we got here. I'm going to start taking things out. Love, love, love so far. It's amazing, beautiful. Oh my gosh. I can't wait to create with this. But look, all these little packaging. The packaging can be reused and other stuff oh my gosh guys I love this it's got that vintage appeal to it that I absolutely love the packaging is wonderful everything about it look at the paintbrush stamps I don't think I've ever seen and look at the package it's like peel the individual stamp with the backing stick into an acrylic block for stamping tips for better stamping results please use force evenly across the entire stamp or use a soft mat to put underneath the stamping surface but look at even the little um packaging for the stamp so it's reusable of course um i'll take that out later let's see all the good so this is a uh, masking tape Ooh, and again it has the paint brushes the paint tubes oh. very well coordinated the aesthetics of all this the packaging aesthetics the entire collection it's well really well put together and very well thought out so this let me see so we're going to be using, of course, our little tissue paper or wrapping paper. I want to show you that as well because this can be used in your projects and it even has the company's logo on it, your creative studio. Love, love, love. Totally reusable. So we're going to stick this aside. I'm probably going to use some undo and remove that little sticker so we can reuse that. And don't forget, I'm going to go live tonight and I'm going to share um, my project with this beautiful company. Okay, so let's see what we got going on here. All right. And I know they have, um, like their September kit is up. If you guys are interested in purchasing any of this, just tell them that May sent you. Um, this company is totally new to me. They reached out to me. So this has... It contains 24 sheets, six sticker paper, six vellum paper, six art paper, and six pattern paper. Looks amazing in your cards, just journal spread, scrapbook, tags, and so much more. So you can create a beautiful journal piece with this, but this here itself can be reused in one of your projects. And I love the little paintbrush, the flowers, the florals, everything, the splatters, the color com combination is just absolutely 
beautiful. I love the color, the color combos. Okay, so then we have, let's see, let's move all this good stuff out. So these are the papers, or the stickers, I believe. Oh, yes. And look at that. Look at the colors. The colors, it's what God saying. I mean, it has scripts, splatters, beautiful color combination there. It just goes so well. Very well put together. And look at this. Again, I love this little image here. Look at that one. And I will put the link to this kit in the description box if you're interested in purchasing. Just make sure you tell them that May sent you over. Again, paintbrushes, splattered. It has that vintage feel to it that we all tend to love and gravitate towards it. So that looks like it's the sticker sheets, but look at this one. <gasps> OMG. It gives me like tile, old vintage tiles that you would go in and see like in a merchant store. The colors are just absolutely amazing. I love it. Look at that. Watercolor um, splashes. Again, paintbrushes, some floral, some uh, script, and there's like a little tube of paint. And it looks like someone was doing a massive um, art abstract with watercolor. It's really, really pretty. Ah. So pretty, so gorgeous. I, I mean, there is nothing here that I can't say I don't like. It's the colors, um, the patterns. It is beautiful. They did an amazing, whoever their graphic designer is, is just amazing. It makes you want to have like bigger sheets, you know? All right, so then we have, what did we say we had in this collection? Let's see. We had... Um, six sticker papers and then we have six vellum and so that's the sticker sheets and you can tell because it has the white sheet in the back right there and then this is like the paper again it's the same thing but it, it has a feel of like a little bit of a texture to it it's so pretty guys absolutely stunning it's all the same but it's the same as the one but this and so there's a chevron here. It's so pretty. I love the rusty, you know, it gives me that rusty hinge color from Tim Holtz collection. And you guys know I love that color. It just kind of has some of that. So you have those, right? And then you have more over here. These are a little bit thinner than those, but I love it. So you have six pattern paper and you have six art papers. So those are the pattern paper. And then this is the art paper. But look, so, so pretty. Almost has like a um, rice paper feel, but not really rice paper. It's not rice paper. I just love it. You can decoupage with this one because it's so thin and fine. And definitely. Alright, and look at the vellum. I love vellum. Look at that. Let's see my hands do it. Not sure what I'm gonna create tonight, but definitely this has beautiful. I'm not sure if I should do it live or maybe do a recording. I might go record it because that way I can go more into depth of every step that I do into creating with this beautiful collection. So definitely, I will be linking, linking all this in the description box below. And as you see, you can use this in the project. And I think I might, I think I'm going to probably go more to doing something um, in a private video, not private, like recorded video versus live, because that way I can really go into detail into every little step that I do in creating. And now this is like masking tape. And again, it's all coordinating together. And so we got several sheets of this masking tape. 
And again, this has got um, like rice paper feel to it, so it's really pretty, but you can definitely, if you have your Xyron, you can run it through um, and get, make it like a washi tape almost. But look at that, isn't that pretty? I love it. So you got several sheets of this. Don't want to miss it. Don't want it to stick to my. Yeah, so you get several of those. Look at that. I love it. I love the antiquing vintage feel to it. The colors are just amazing as well. And you know, I got this um, idea in my head. I've got an idea rolling through my head now as to what I'm going to be doing with this collection. But even this, like you can use some of this and, you know, decoupage and cover one of these up because look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Ah, ideas. Okay. So let's be very gentle on peeling this here because I want to reuse this. Like I said, this is a surprise to me. Look at that. It's like a little paint palette and your little um, paint brushes with the paints on it. And it's a nice red rubber. Nice. And you can cling it onto your acrylic blocks. So these are a little clean. And again, you could reuse these in the packaging for the project. So we're probably going to be um, recycling our packaging here in the project that I made. Now this is a paint brushes and look it has the hand with the paint brush and your little paint cup with the brushes. I love that. Again, it's a nice red rubber stamp. It's actually two of them, see? I love that one. There's going to be a repurposing the packaging for sure. Masking tape. Ooh, I love washi tape. I don't even have any, so this is awesome. Let's see. Let's get our undo here. Undo is your lifesaver here when you want to um, remove. I need to get more. But when you're trying to re remove adhesive from a project, you know, I ran out, darn it. And you don't want to ruin it. Use undo. It works great. It works like a charm. Of course, you can't run out like I just did. Oops, sorry. And you can reuse that adhesive and stick it onto something else. So there we go. Looks like a shirt. You can see this. Again, look, it's so well thought out. Again, paint brushes, your little paint palette, and look at that. Your spatulas, your paint spatulas. That sticky adhesive on my hands, sorry. Very nice. Love it. Goes so well together. I am absolutely. I love the packaging on this because it's one of those um, Ziploc pouches, like a poly pouch. So it's reusable, totally reusable because it's like one of those um, Ziploc poly pouches. And then you get your little paint brushes, your paint strokes, your splatters, your spatula, and of course your brushes. So I love the little splatters in your brushes, brush strokes. Can't wait to use that as well. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twelve red 
stamps. I love that. And of course, you can reuse your little um, clear stamp. And this one's actually, here's the product code, C as in cat, T as in Tom, 0012, if you're interested in purchasing that by itself. And of course, the tissue paper, which is this one here, I didn't see these, um, this one here, or the masking tape, it's B as in boy, G as in George, 0032, and you can go into yourcreativestudio.com and make your purchase. Make sure you let in your little comments, May sent me over. And then if you're interested in this little package um, here, it is, let's see, P as in Paul, E as in Edward, 006, I mean 0024, sorry. I'll make sure I put, I think it's an entire kit, so I make sure I link it all below um, so that you can find it a lot easier. But this is really, really pretty, and I love the entire aesthetics of it all. Very well thought out. And you can use these little cards in your little packaging or your project. So that's that. And then we have paper ephemeras. The colors are just so pretty and vibrant. I just love that. So this one's D as in dog, C as in cat, 006. Again, yourcreativestudio.com. And look at this. And the reason I pull out the little packaging is because, oh, look. Can you see that? totally can be reused into a tag um, or a page in your little album if you're creating a journal. It's so pretty. And they do have like little journals and things like that, but look at that. And these are really good, not you know flimsy or anything like cheap paper, but this is really, really good quality. Um, little pieces, ephemeral pieces. Little tag, so we have two tags. Labels. The colors are just beautiful. The, the, the details in the back of the paper is really pretty. More labels. So you got two of each. It's got a minty, pinky, peachy color with some yellow splatters and vintage feels in there. Two of these. Two more little tags. Got that rusty hinge look to it. And this one with the little palette on there, paint palette. Little banners. Has like a teal color to it. A little paint. Some little flowers. More little banners. Oh, this is the same little, um, it's one of the statues, I don't know from where. Um, can't think of what statue it is, but it's, I know it's the, the buttest, the bust, sorry, not the buttest, the bust, one of the um, statues that you see like in a museum or something. Um, it's also in the um, packaging. And you got more little labels. Oh, the little paintbrushes. How cute. That is so stinking adorable. Look at that. Oh, look at this. I love this one. These are so. OMG. Look at that paintbrush. <gasps> Oh, I love this. That is so stinking adorable. And more little paintbrushes. It's like you got two of each. That is so amazing. I love it. Look at that. And it's not like your cheap, flimsy, you know, cardstock. This is really good. Really good. It's not glossy or anything like that that you have to kind of, sometimes when you get like the Tim Holtz is a little glossy and you got to kind of buff it down with a little bit of a lightweight sandpaper to get some of that shine off. There's a little um, tube of paint that's been open and tube, uh, paint coming out really cute, squeezed out. 
these. I have all these little ideas coming into mind. I'm going to go check out their store and see what else they have because they sent me this um, and then um, I'm going to go check out what else they have because I know they have like journals and other monthly kits that you can purchase from them. And these little flower So there's so much you can purchase here. So I am so excited about this and I'm very thankful. Thank you so much for um, thinking of me and wanting to collaborate and liking my um, my work. I really appreciate that and reaching out to me for that. And then we have this and this is I love, 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 love. Ooh, look. Again, all the colors go very well together. They did a fabulous job coordinating this entire little kit. So this is all a little pad and it's all the same pattern, I believe. No, nope, there's different. So there's that one. That was, let's see. And then that one's a little different. Yeah. So nice little tags there that you can use. Um, here's that Monday through Sunday. You can write little journaling on there. So perfect for journaling. Oh yeah, this one's different, definitely. This one's diff different as well. So we have different patterns in here. Yeah, nice. Nice, I like that. Let's set that aside and look at that. Again, here's that bust. That's, this one's BT0046. Oh, what was this one? Did I give you guys this one? I didn't see it on this one. And if you wanted the, the stickers, and the washi tape is washi 0027, but again, I'm this is a kit, I believe. Um, and then this is um, the paintbrush with the paint hand, that one's C as in cat, L as in Larry, S as in Sam, 0052. <clears throat> okay, and then again, this is... Um, looks like little sticker sheets of stamps it is and it's like transparent so I like that yeah they are transparent little stickers nice and so that one's B as in boy T as in Tom 0046 I love it and you got three six nine twelve of the little stamp and look at this I love the packaging and you can even use this I love Asian prints I just love and when I say I love I Perfectly been looking for um, stamps that has like the little, um, like the a Asian stamping, and I found some at the thrift store by chance. I was I lucked out, but look at that. You can even use this packaging. And so this one, I don't see the little number on it, but it's G as in George B21027-2007. You can probably look it up at that. But again, this I'm assuming this is an entire kit for, and I don't know if they have it in color, um, individually sold. I love the little twine, the packaging. I love, this is like a little, you can use this as a pocket on one of your journal pages. Isn't that stinking cute? Look at that. You can use it as one of your journal pages. You can probably, um, even cut it out a little because you don't sometimes don't need a full sheet but you cut this out little and then use it as a little tuck spot for one of your journal pages so you got your Monday Tuesday Wednesday you know, Thursday Saturday right is here somewhere right Saturday Sunday Well, is not there, but that's all right. It might be in a little stuck here. Okay. Oh, I love that. Look at that. These are nice little journaling spots. The, the paper, it's, it feels almost like 
I've touched it before, like mulberry poop. Oh, here's Friday. See, I knew it was there. So we got them all. I knew it was there. It was just kind of scattered in there. So we got here Monday through Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. There it is. It's there. It's there. It's a, I love this. It has like a mulberry feel to it. And then again, you can do a little journaling on there. Like I said, you can cut this little sheet here and portions of it and then use this as a little, put that on there. Nice, love it. I love this. And you keep hearing me like that, but I am super ecstatic. You guys know, if I'm not gonna like it, I'm gonna tell you, no, I don't like it. And look at this, again, great quality. Two. And the cutouts of vintage newspaper articles and postcards and this is mulberry that is nice ooh this is a different feel it was kind of i knew it was kind of getting to that mulberry feel like handmade paper and if this one has a little bit of a texture can you feel that i love that that one's double-sided of course love the feel of these papers these are like handmade pressed nice set that aside yeah i think i'm gonna i think you know i think this deserves an entire video on its own so probably get up tomorrow morning and do the video and do the video on this. So this one here is Forever Daytime, 30 pieces, and it looks like little vellum pieces with some tags and other little embellishments. Look at some stamps, vellum stamps, little ephemeras. Ooh, this is sticker like. This one's like a sticker. Oh yes, it is. Nice. Nice. Ticket. Yes. Yes. Oh my god, yes it is sticker. It is. It's got that washi feel. Yes, see the sticker. It's got that washi paper feel to it. Mmm, Minneapolis. Nice. I love that. Yes, it is like a washi tape. Oh, ooh, I'm going to have fun with this. Look at this one. Postage. I've never seen these. Nice. Look how nice, guys. This is really nice. Very well thought out. Very put together. Very well. postcards, nice washi tapes, and you know that, stickers, nice ephemeras, journaling little pieces that you can put into your little tuck spots for journaling purposes. Ooh, I love it. Thank you so much for thinking of me. Really appreciate that. That, is, that means the world to me, and I hope that I do you well, and you know, get some new people over to your site and that hopefully I inspire someone to create something um, if they purchase one similar to mine. This is nice. Not transferable for conditions. See the back. So this is like uh, the Honda is prohibited from something BNT bring the company's train. So this is like a train. And then again, here's have a good trip. New South Wales, little tag that you can put into your journal, cash receipts, little journaling spots for your journals. Tristan Pharmacy, nice. I love these little tiny details that you can add to your journals as um, little journaling spots or, you know, every little bit helps when you're putting together a journal.
And you guys know I need my little leather journal, my little canvas on leather. It would go great with a leather journal. Um, but I have that little journal that I made fabric, and I might use this in that. I think this will go great with my journal that I made out of fabric. And then we have some twine. Can't go wrong with that. So then we have another stamp. This is CLS0054. I'm trying to be really delicate with the pocket or the envelopes because I can. Ooh, ah, no way. No way. Shut the front door. Look at that. I love images like this, vintage images, and that's a perfect little stamp stamp in and then you got an easel art easel they really did i wonder if this is like picasso or something or michelangelo i don't know i don't know who he is i would say you know picasso not picasso because he doesn't look like picasso but maybe michelangelo leonardo da vinci somebody one of those great famous artists right All right, and then we have, finally, this last one. It's so much in this entire, this is 46 pieces. You see that? Your imagination can go really wild with this. And again, you save your little packaging because it could be used as um, something in one of your journals. So this is a handwritten, and this has from, you can't see the country where it was stamped in. It says Mexican motive tarjeta postal. So this is in Spanish. So very much for hand wash, dry, will be, I don't know, invaluable. This heat and dust home has, no, have been very well. Something, something, all goes well. Uh, Bria College, Kentucky, USA. Miss Edith something. So she shipped it to um she shipped it from mexico i guess or she had correo de 10 correos mexicanos correo so this is correo is what i'm gathering here correo monterrey wow monterrey nuevo león now that i see mexico so now it makes it correo monterrey leo 1962. anyway so you got all these nice little stamps um, you can put in, again, they feel like they're stickers. You can peel them back. Yep, they are. Mm -hmm. They feel like, again, like transparent vellum or something. Nice. Yep, two of each. birds the color on there may will make um, a page stand out really well Oh, I like the look on a bike. Huh, Kirkwood. I'm trying to read some of these. It's a sheet of something, I think. They're kind of Danish or something. Different parts of the world. A nice little sewing machine. Again, they're like different parts. Yeah. And some little penguins. I love the little. Alright, guys.
guys. This is a beautiful entire collection. You need to go check it out. I'm going to put the link below for your creative studio. Thank you so much for taking me into consideration and wanting um, or asking me to collaborate with you. I appreciate um, the offer. I hope I do you well and I will make sure tomorrow I tag you on my video of what I create with this beautiful kit that you have sent me. I will also link below all the information as how you can obtain this beautiful kit. Till next time guys, bye, take care, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and go over to yourcreativestudio.com and check out all the beautiful things that they have to offer. Till next time, bye.